Welcome to the Thrive Forever Fit Show, the podcast that's here to ignite your potential and guide you on a journey towards living your best life. I'm your host, Jay Nixon, and I'm thrilled to have you with us today. On this show, we're passionate about one thing, and that's helping you reach your full potential, whether that's in your health and fitness, relationships, career, or personal growth. We're here to provide you with tools, strategies, and inspiration to thrive in every aspect of your life. Each episode will dive deep into topics that matter most, featuring insightful interviews with experts, thought leaders, and individuals who've achieved extraordinary success. Together, we're gonna to explore powerful mindset shifts, nutrition and fitness strategies, effective goal setting, mindfulness techniques, and much, much more. We'll break down the barriers that hold you back and help you build resilience, focus, and unwavering determination. So if you're ready to unleash your potential, and embark on a transformative journey, this podcast is for you. It's time to embrace your inner fire, tap into your limitless capabilities, and make every day an opportunity for growth and self-improvement. Get ready to be inspired, motivated, and empowered to live the life you've always dreamed of. The Thrive Forever Fit Show is here to support you every step of the way. Let's dive in. Before we dive into the show, I want to take a quick moment to talk about the sponsor of this episode. It is very dear and near and close to my heart because it is Lori's company, Spa Star. If you ever had the opportunity to watch someone create something from a thought or a vision and make this magical thing actually come to life, well, then you'll know why I'm so extremely proud of her and why I'm so excited to have her sponsoring the Thrive Forever Fit Show. If you've listened to my podcast, then you probably heard her on episode 259. If you haven't heard that, I would go listen to episode 259 as soon as you finish this episode. She talks about the story of, of how she created it, the, the adversity she overcame, the challenges that she worked through, and just the inspirational story that I know you're absolutely going to love. But what Spa Star is, it's, it's a, a luxury wrap. And it was created as a, a spa wrap for people who were getting beauty treatments. But what we found out is it is a piece for everyday life. People are wearing it as swimsuit cover-ups, uh, resort wear, just to get ready in the mornings or for that special event. It is the most unique piece. And I've actually, I've actually worn this thing several times. I was the actual first model for this. Maybe I'll show you guys some photos of that, Fred, when the time is right. But it is such a cool creation called the Get Ready Wrap by Spa Star. And because you're a listener, you get 15% off today because you support me. So just go to spastar.net, spastar.net, the word spa, the word star.net. And at the checkout, enter Thrive15, T-H-R-I-V-E 15, and you're going to get 15% off of your Get Ready Wrap. So many of my clients already have these and absolutely love them. We're selling them all over the country and all over the world, for that matter, to high-end luxury spas. And to people just like you that are using them inside of their own homes, they're traveling with them, they're using them at the pool. It's so really just unbelievably cool to see and witness. And I'm so blessed to be a part of it. And I'm so blessed to have Lori actually sponsoring my podcast, which I think is really, really cool. So go check out Spa Star. I know you're going to love it. It is the coolest thing ever. And guys, this isn't just for ladies. This is one of the coolest gifts you could get your any female in your life for that matter. If Lori hadn't have created it, I would buy them for her as a gift to show her my love and appreciation. So dudes, if you're listening and you need to get a gift for your significant other or some special person in your life, go to spastar.net, grab a get ready wrap. There's all kinds of colors. There's black, there's sage, there's a berry color. There's a, um, Gosh, I just went blank. There's a kind of a greeny, kind of avocado-y color. Really cool. You're definitely going to love these, I promise. So go to spastar.net, check it out, support Lori. And Lori, thank you for sponsoring the show. All right, let's get to the action. What is happening? Welcome to another Power Pod. These little mini episodes are designed to give you a little burst, a little boost of inspiration, motivation, and maybe some strategy that's going to help you get through your day, 
get further faster and just become the absolute best version of yourself, which I believe is the quest that we should all be on, living a life of extreme abundance, excellence, awesomeness, all the beautiful things, living in bliss, joy, and unbelievable satisfaction. So today my question to you is, are you stuck? And if you are stuck, why are you stuck? Here's a better question. What obstacle do you find is a consistent or has a consistent presence in your life? Most of the time when we get stuck, when we get in a place of stagnation, where we, we feel horrible, we're not growing, we're overwhelmed, everything is more challenging, it's usually the same obstacle that has presented us there. And if we want to get really metaphorical and down in the deep weeds of psychology, we're actually the obstacle. Like it's us, right? Like we're the problem in every scenario. And once we realize that, then we can get out of the problematic state and start finding solutions for these little obstacles that present themselves. But for the sake of this conversation, let's ask, what's the obstacle? Is it your work? Is it a financial situation? Is it your just chaotic mind that you just can't seem to get anything done and everything so seems to be so overwhelming? And then the next question is this. When this obstacle presents itself in a routine manner, whether it's daily, weekly, monthly, yearly, whatever it is, and you keep seeing this particular thing present itself in your life, what do you do when that happens? Do you exhibit the same behavior do you go through the same course of actions in order to try to solve said problem? If so, can you see why you continue to get stuck by the same adversity? You, sit, you continue to get stuck by the same roadblock. And here's the truth of the matter. The problem is not the problem. The problem is your expectation that you shouldn't have to go through the problem in the first place. So you present yourself with all of this chaos and all of this nonsense, and you tell yourself, I should not have to go through this. Well, the truth is, you shouldn't have to go through it. But the only reason you're going through it is because you won't address, recognize, and then come up with a solution so the same obstacle doesn't continue to present itself. If it's a person, then you continue to put yourself in the environment with said person so said person continues to piss you off, upset you, treat you poorly, do this, do that, do whatever. And then the same process goes on and on and on and on. If it's, a, if it's work, then find another job or just make the, make the commitment that you're going to elevate yourself out of that particular situation. Because like I said a while ago, you, us, me, all of us, we're the problem. We're the constant in every situation. So if you see a repetitive nature happening in your life, you are the constant in that repetitive nature. And so stop feeling like you shouldn't have to go through the adversity. Recognize that the adversity is actually your opportunity to get better, to grow, to evolve, to start thinking differently, speaking differently, acting differently, behaving differently. If it's with your nutrition, with your health, you can make different decisions that will give you different outcomes. If it's your relationships, you can make different decisions that will give you different outcomes. If it's your money, you can make different decisions that will give you different outcomes. You are only stuck if you choose to be stuck. And if the same obstacle keeps showing up in your life, you've got to ask yourself these questions. Why does this obstacle continue to present itself? What do I do when this obstacle presents itself? And then you need to take a completely different approach on how you handle that obstacle. Because again, you've convinced yourself that you just shouldn't have to go through that in the first place. And that's why it feels so overwhelming. If you repositioned yourself and got a new perspective and said, this is in my life to help me evolve and grow and to help me to learn to become the best version of myself. So let me ask a few questions here. What can I do differently so that this obstacle does not continue to present itself? If it's a food scenario or a relationship scenario, a financial scenario, a self-belief scenario, they're all systematically the same. You take yourself with you everywhere you go. 
So the only solution is going to be that you're going to have to expand and evolve and treat that scenario, treat that obstacle, treat that adversity, adversity differently if you want a different outcome. Perspective is everything. So take a different perspective on it and ask yourself the question, once I overcome this obstacle this time and I grow and evolve and expand out of the person that I am today and into the new person that I will become tomorrow, once that I handle this obstacle once and for all, then I won't have to address it again. And there are always going to be obstacles. Regardless of the level of abundance and growth mindset that you have, you will always have obstacles that present themselves to you. But you will start to look at those obstacles differently. You will look at those obstacles as opportunities. You will look at those obstacles as ways that you get to be better. And when you get better, the obstacles change. You get, you get a different set of obstacles. And the more you conquer those obstacles, the more you evolve and grow and expand. And then abundance just becomes your natural default setting. You see, right now, your default setting, if you're, if you're consistently facing the same problem, your default setting is that of somebody who believes that they deserve problems, that their life is always going to be chaotic. Their life is always going to be challenging. Their life is always filled with adversity. That is a belief system. You were not born and designed to struggle. You've created a struggle mentality. So the number one thing you can do is start to shift your mindset over and say, the next time this same scenario presents itself, I'm going to be different. I'm going to approach this from a different perspective, and I'm going to give it a new set of energy. I'm going to give it a new set of value, and I'm going to actually overcome and grow from this obstacle instead of allowing this obstacle to keep me stuck. So ask yourself a set of questions. What obstacles consistently present themselves in my life? What do I do? when said obstacle presents itself, and how can I respond and react different? How can I be proactive the next time this presents itself, knowing that I'm the constant and knowing that the only way for me to remove this obstacle from, from my life is for me to expand and evolve out of the realm of who I am today and into the next realm of who I am supposed to be, the best version of myself. Because the best me won't have this obstacle in their life. They won't tolerate it. They'll grow from it. They'll expand from it. They'll evolve from it. Guys, you deserve to live an abundant, amazing, blissful, happy, joyful life. And I promise you, if you'll start to look at life differently, if you'll start to look at life as it happens for you instead of to you, if you'll look at obstacles as opportunities instead of adversities, things will be different for you. Expect more of yourself. You're the constant. You take yourself with you everywhere you go. Be the one. Be the change. You can do this. I promise you. I believe in you. I want this for you. I want you to have an abundant, amazing life. Let's go out there and get it. Be awesome to yourself. Be awesome to each other. And I'll see you in the next episode. Hey, before you go, I'd just like to say thank you again for listening to the Thrive Forever Fit podcast and watching on YouTube. It means the absolute world to me. And if you would, if you would do me one favor, and that is simply subscribe and review this podcast on whatever platform it is that you enjoy it on, YouTube, Apple, Spotify, doesn't matter. I would absolutely be so grateful and so thankful if you do that for me. Thanks again for listening. And I'll see you again next week with an awesome, awesome episode. Bye.